Hey everyone, I'm Fiction I was back again with another cool uh, Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, in the Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, cool drop motion uh, that I did on the, this animation. So uh, I think it's a really cool tutorial to share here uh, with you guys. So I uh, hope you'll get your Cinema 4D open and uh, let's get this started. So let's go. Okay, people, so uh, we have a Cinema 4D open and uh, we can now start our project uh, from scratch. So uh, the first thing I'm going to add is a sphere. And on this sphere, I'm going to put the segments to around, to around 40. 40 should be cool. And uh, also the type, put it on icosahedron. Uh, now I'm going to need the, the animation for the sphere. Uh, what I'm going to do uh, is really fast. I'm going to make uh, two keyframes to just set up just a simple animation over here. So I'm going to bring the keyframe over 0. And I'm at about 40. I'm going to bring my sphere here on the middle and set a keyframe. So uh, what we now have here just a basic animation with no motion, with uh, no nothing. So uh, we're ready to, to keep this ongoing. So uh, what I'm going to put in on this sphere so, uh, is just a jiggle deformer over here. And on this jiggle deformer I'm going to put the strength to around 130. 130 should be cool. And if you press play you see that you already have a little bit of motion. It's looking a lot more cooler. So I'm going to put this 160. That's okay. And we have our animation uh, for our sphere and uh, for us to, to continue the project. So uh, what I'm going to do over here now is going to bring uh, our stuff to make this happen. So I'm going to bring a cloner, I'm going to bring also a tracer object another tracer object and uh, also metaball so yeah this is made with metaball so I'm going to put the traces a child of a metaball and on this tracer the first tracer that I'm going to trace is the cloner over here so I'm going to delete this one and on this cloner I'm going to trace pads and on the limit we're going to put this from end and on this I'm going to put this on around five should be okay. And on the second tracer, what I need to trace that is the sphere. So I'm going to put it over here and delete this cloner over here. So and on this sphere, we're going to trace uh, the tracing mode to connect all objects and uh, should be okay. So uh, going past to the cloner. So on this cloner, what I need to clone is the object. The object is the sphere. I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to put the distribution to surface. And uh, over here on the seed, you can just push this a little bit plus to randomize a, a little bit different. And the count to around, around six. Six, five should be cool for a start. So I'm going to also put a null no, uh, child of a cloner uh, for this to, to work right. And just make on the metaball this last adjustment. So I'm going to put the whole value to a thousand and the subdivisions to around 14, 15 should be okay. And let's just make a plan on this to see uh, how this is working. So um, yeah, we already have our fluid already working with metaballs, but this uh, should look a lot cooler if you bring over here just smoothing and put this on around stiffness over here. Let's bring our animation and put this on a null object. Alt G. It's okay. Let's just make our play to see on how this is working. Yeah, it looks a lot more better. Now we can start to make a few adjustments over here to this uh, look a lot better. So. Uh, first thing I'm going on the animation, I'm going to bring the animation a little bit faster so that um, it has more strength on the metaball and uh, it looks already a lot cooler. So, uh, and also the renders are very fast and easy for this. So uh, you can play a lot with this, you can make a lot of tests. And uh, I just wanted to bring you a new cool tutorial for Cinema 4D for the start of this year. And uh, this is it. So. Uh, just made a few tests and uh, now we can s uh, start already making a few some other tests. If you put this like around 12, 
just to for you to see what values can you change on, uh, over here. So um, if you put this count to to a lot, it will bring a big whole value for the for the metabol. So I think this the best for this around six, seven, eight uh, is best values for this. So uh, uh, this is on the cloner. Now what you can play a little bit more is over here on the metabol. You can bring more subdivisions to have more quality over the mesh and uh, just a little bit less edit the subdivision so you can have just a better quality object over here. So uh, but if you increase the, this a lot, we'll have more detail and uh, more stripes uh, will be showing up. So uh, I think like 15, 15, 16 should be cool value for this. So, but I can now make a change. And uh, yeah, I can show you the, the final part where I did the, that thing with the circle. And uh, you can make it that very easy. So I'm going to bring the circle over here, put this on XY and put this to around 500, okay, and uh, let's make another sphere, I'm going to bring another sphere over here, just uh, put this, the second so around 30, put it also on my cosahedron, and just bring also a jiggle deformer for her, and on this second tracer put this sphere one, delete the first one, okay, and on the cloner, bring this girl up, and put it this to 6, and yeah, what, what I need to do here, so bring some cinema for the tags, align to spline, and on this align to spline, I'm going to set my first keyframe, press control, control and click to put a keyframe on 0, and then 30, I'm going to bring this to 100. Okay, set another keyframe. Let's just check this out. So, we have a sphere that is following uh, the circle. Oh, yeah, we forgot to put the circle. Let's put the circle spine up here and just make a play on this. Let's just bring it backward. And we have it there, some cool stuff over here. So I can put this a little bit less. It's just for you to check out how I did the, um, that, that animation of the circle. And then I'm going to put this here with a, a little bit more segments 40. And let's just play this. Yeah, X lock cooler, so uh, we can also bring over here put this a little bit less and on the jiggle deformer we can put a small stiffness. Just check out. Yeah, I think it's a really cool uh, animation there that you can do a lot with this. And, um, I just wanted to share a new tutorial uh, for you guys, so I uh, hope you keep subscribing, hope you keep uh, following our stuff here at Affection House, and uh, share our stuff and uh, leave that big like down there, and uh, we'll see you on a new client project or a new tutorial very soon guys, so cheers!